The Brooklyn Nets and the Los Angeles Lakers, two teams with gigantic payrolls that failed to live up to expectations, are at the center of the latest free agency reports. One potential big-name free agent is Kyrie Irving, who has a deadline on his $36.9 million player option for the 2022-23 season. Conversations about his future in Brooklyn have gone stagnant. An impasse currently exists among the parties, and that clears the way for Irving to consider the open marketplace for the athletic. Brian Windhorst questioned, is Kyrie Irving really willing to walk away from this $36 million player option that he has? Does anyone actually believe that Kyrie would walk away from a $36 million player option to go sign for $6 million with the Lakers? If he wanted to go to the Knicks he could sign for $10 million. This is a guy who left roughly $15 million on the table last year because he wouldn't get vaccinated. I've never seen a player make a move like this is impossible. It's also not impossible that a team like the Knicks could start trading pieces off to clear salary cap space, and maybe they couldn't get to $40 million but maybe they could get to $25 million. Does LeBron want Kyrie? I think LeBron would play with Kyrie if all things were equal. Would he rather have Kyrie as his point guard than Russell Westbrook? Of course, he would. Would he want to trade Anthony Davis for Kyrie? No, he would not. Would he want Kyrie for $6 million? Let's get deep into this but, before going straight to the content, here is the brand new information on the channel, is that 3 lucky winners will get a chance to win PS5. Only you have to comment your views on this trade in the comments section below. Let's start today's topic. I really think that unless Kyrie makes a historic move, the Lakers can't functionally make a sign and trade. The only way the Lakers can realistically trade for Kyrie would be, if he opted into his contract for next year and then forced the Nets to trade him. And if he opts into his contract the Nets will just let him play out the $36 million. I could draw you up something on how the Knicks could do it, but the Lakers? I can't close the door on it but I think it's a real long shot. Irving and James played together with the Cleveland Cavaliers from 2014 to 2017, reaching three NBA Finals and defeating the Golden State Warriors to capture the NBA title in 2015-16. In those three seasons alongside James, Irving averaged 22.2 points, 3.1 rebounds, and 5.2 assists per game. A potential departure of Irving would be challenging for Brooklyn due to its limited ability to replace him. What's more, the Nets owe $111 million to six other players in 2022-23. So filling out the roster with minimum salaries would put them over the projected salary cap of $122 million. That said, if LA is seriously interested in acquiring the 30-year-old star, Irving would most likely have to opt in to facilitate the trade, because the Lakers can't clear enough cap space to sign him themselves, per sources. In addition to the Lakers, the New York Knicks and the LA Clippers are also thought to be potential destinations for Irving. Whether Irving would be a good fit with the Lakers is an open question, but Nick Wright isn't surprised by the chatter, and he said so on, first things first. Who could have seen this coming? Wright said, except for anybody paying attention. Do you think people in Brooklyn have enjoyed the last few years? I think a Kyrie LeBron reunion would be fun. I think Kyrie going across the bridge and playing for the team in New York that has fans would be fun. And I think a Kyrie Kawhi Leonard locker room would be unbelievable. And Shannon Sharp said on Undisputed that he wasn't sure the Lakers could make a trade for Irving work. The issue is not whether or not Kyrie wants to be a net. I believe the Nets are tied to carry boy Javon no longer wants him to be a net scaler. And what we're seeing here is that we've seen this novel together, James Harden says, nah, I'm tired of carrying Bull Jive. Kevin Durant seemingly said I'm tired of carrying Bo John. Shouldn't a trademark be exploding for a guy as skilled as skilled a point guard or a guard as we've ever seen, can shoot the three got a mid-range can finish at the rim as good as anybody his size in. The history of the game, and you follow him, he's gonna make 90% of those? And seemingly from everything that I've heard and read one team with a dress and carry urban only because of the book genre. You can say, oh, it's the backseat mandate. But up there the only two places that hadn't mandated Toronto, he's not there not interested. And Brooklyn Nets. So the likelihood has never been a mandate. And because Vivid and Teton players king three on the mandate, except in Toronto, with that being said, skill. 
shouldn't the market be exploding? For gotta go get your 27 5 and 5. Of course. He should. But hold on. It's like, hold on. There's a reoccurring theme going on here. In Cleveland, the guy was winning championships, competing for titles every single year. And he was unhappy. He got the Boston, he wanted an opportunity to lead his own team. And it fell apart. It was like a Monday, he looked better leaving and coming in. And then he got to Brooklyn, he had everything he wanted. He had a guy that he could look down the best gear but that MO can make every shot I can do what I can do. And I would we back the same situation again. He's unhappy, they're unhappy with him. So I don't believe Skip. It's like a relationship. I'm gonna work on my marriage. I'm gonna save my marriage. You might say that. But if the other partner walked out of the marriage ain't nothing you can. Do. I believe the Brooklyn Nets want out of this marriage. And I don't believe there's anything Kyrie Irving can do. Let's take the Carey's boy job. Not because he can't play but because of all of the things. That are around him. And I believe it has more to do than the vaccine mandate. Not everybody can make it about the mandate, all they want to. But they've read and heard what's been said. Of how he interacts with people in that building, the same thing that started happening in Cleveland. I don't know what transpired in Boston, but I don't think they were very, very disappointed in Kyrie Irving leaving. So that's the problem that they have skipped. He's immensely talented, and maybe he has learned his lesson. But damn, I would like to pay to say. The third time's the charm, maybe it's the fourth time that's a charm. If he were to go somewhere else, which I do believe he's going to do. I'm not. And I believe it's going to be the Lakers. Because of all the indication that I've heard from Brian Windhorst to Shops and Worlds and everybody else reported hell, only one team wants it. And when only one team wants you to scale, I'm gonna try to extrapolate as much as I possibly can. Like, okay, we take us we get you to carry, and we'll take Russell by the hand, but we want to have those first round paid. And the legacy. We get you to want to say no, we want to, well, we'll take it somewhere else. Let them get you to nobody else wants it. So that's the dilemma that Kyrie Irving is in James Harden and KD said. Nah, bro, we are good. We are good. As a matter of fact, we great James Hart has already bounced guilt. He just got there. It's given the man was there a year. The man was there one year. Which turned out $105 million extension that would have paid him $5,455.50 to $53 million a year. He turned that down to Houston to go to Brooklyn. And within a year he's like, nah. I'm doing Katie got 4 years the $190-498 million on the contract. He says I'll do it. Ba says we take it on Cobras. I know how to work with you. I told you about Bob putting him on that couch. Talk to him a little bit a guy like LeBron or Ruben suit that you know, talk to him like LeBron Ross. LeBron worked. All in all Shannon Sharp stated that this deal is impossible in all perspectives and not gonna happen at all. So what do you think about, Kyrie LeBron reunion is possible or not? Do let us know in the comments section below and get a chance to win a brand new PS5. If you enjoyed watching the video do like and share and yes don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you so much.